Released on November 2000 for Europe with the North American release following a month later, we have Grand Theft Auto 2 on the Game Boy Color. Developed by Tarantula Studios and published by Rockstar Games, Grand Theft Auto 2 is a conversion of the PC, PlayStation and Dreamcast game, but of course on a much smaller scale, very much like Grand Theft Auto's port onto the Game Boy Color a year earlier. Like the previous game, GTA 2 was toned down for younger audiences for the Game Boy Color. In this game, set supposedly in 2013, though the game doesn't specify when it takes place, you can play as several different characters who also happen to look like police officers, and you complete missions with three major factions for money. Each faction differs depending on which part of the city you're in, with the Zaibatsu being the only faction in all three areas. Each new area is unlocked once the player accumulates a million dollars, whether it's by completing missions or causing random destruction, and finds the exit to the area, and the game takes you from downtown to the residential and industrial areas. The game does differ a bit from its console and PC counterparts as you have several characters to choose from as opposed to just Claude Speed, and the Game Boy Color version uses a password system as opposed to the Jesus Saves Churches to name a couple. But is the game any good? Find out in... The Good. The game's map I think is still a pretty good conversion of the GTA 2 map, much like the original would have been an amazing feat to port them over. On top of that, it's no longer a ghost town. Straight from the get-go I could see pedestrians walking around and I was never struggling to find a vehicle. The game is a little more polished and unlike its predecessor, GTA 2 is a Game Boy Color only title, possibly to make use of the technical upgrades to the Game Boy Color's hardware. The password system introduced was also quite handy as now you can continue from the last mission you completed with the points and multiplier you had at the time. As well as that, another thing that was fixed was how aggressive the police are in the game, which I thought was an improvement over the first game. However, that's all the good I've got to say about this game, so now it's time to look into... The Bad. The driving in the game has only gotten marginally better, and it's thanks to the game slowing down when there's too much going on. Other times you move really fast, and you hitting another car, a wall, or accidentally running over gang members causing them to shoot at you whenever you're in their territory is a common occurrence. Thankfully, you can't drive into water, so at least you don't have to worry about that. You can however fall into water and get stuck, forcing you to restart the game as there are no viable ways of killing yourself in the game. The issues with getting stuck between cars in the game does make a return, and there has been times I've been stuck between two cars, forcing me to exit the vehicle, enter the one in front or behind me, move it, then get back into my original car. God help me if I'm being chased by the police, as if they're standing right beside your vehicle, simply getting out will cause them to bust you and as a consequence fail your current mission. As a matter of fact, if the police touch you as a pedestrian, that will lead to you getting busted. And while shooting at them is an option, you can only shoot in 8 directions, and it just takes the police to be in a position where your bullets can't hit them to walk up and catch you. My little rant aside, there really isn't much else, so now it's time for... The Opinion. Grand Theft Auto 2 on the Game Boy Color is an improvement over the original. Overall, things have gotten a little better, but not by much. Music certainly is one of them, since I swear one of the tunes in the game just sounds like a sped up version of ACDC's Back in Black. GTA 2 I would say is worth giving a go on the Game Boy Color, but if you have the game on console or PC, then I'd say stick with that unless you really want to see how the game fared on the Game Boy Color. Then again, the handheld certainly isn't to be underestimated, considering what's out there for it. And with that, it's time for my rating. Grand Theft Auto 2 on the Game Boy Color gets... This phone, made in the year 2000, out of 10. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next Infinite Backlog Review. If you enjoyed today's review, feel free to check out our other videos and subscribe for more. You can also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and our Facebook page. Once again, thank you for watching.